As we told, this is a little technical topic. I would like to make it a simple so that we all understand where technology helps us in our day-to-day -day lives. It was October in 1982. It was about five years into my career in the information technology industry. I felt there was a golden opportunity that knocked on my door. I was selected to work on a project to deliver management reports to a very large enterprise manufacturing jet aircrafts used in the war. It's a war planes. That was a very huge responsibility and I was waiting for that golden moment to come. The day arrived and I went into that great computing facility and I was introduced to several decision makers and I could see piles of reports already on their table. As I listened to them over several days, it, I always walked back home thinking, I'm supposed to produce some more reports. What, are, what is it that they are really going to do with it? It kept on coming to me. And that was the time when this idea called data entered into my life. And there was no turning back. And for all the years, I have been working with projects which had a huge content of data in whatever I did. And I always try to do what people today are talking about, providing the right information to the right people in extremely simple ways so that they can understand and they can act do, to do something which can change their lives. So here I will start by presenting what is it that I could learn over uh, those many years. I'm sure all of us agree that the world in which we all live, we would like to see that as a wonderful place. That's the future we want. We want wonderful education system. We want extremely reliable telecommunication network. We want great transportation system. We want affordable health care. The whole world is looking for the best the mankind can get, and the world becomes a great place to live. That's the future that we want to really create. But interestingly, that future depends on what decisions our business leaders make today. That's exactly what influences the creation of the future world. But ironically, if we really look at business professionals, they are sitting on a huge pile of data, which are, today people talk about terabytes, petabytes, and all the numbers that really associate with the quantum of data that they are dealing with. And we don't know how to use all that data to make what I call as smart decisions. So anything that we are able to rely on data, that will guide us like a compass to create our future. And that's the subject that I am interested in, and I'll be uh, presenting more on that. We can picture the same thing in a little different way. We can think of our future world like the pot that we want to give a great shape. So all decision makers who are going to make smart decisions have a huge hand in that. You can never give a shape to the product or a pot without the most critical element, which is the wheel. And today, I consider data or facts or as the wheel, which is dynamic, it is rotating, it is constantly changing, it's coming from all directions, but that's what gives the shape for our future. This is my simplest understanding of how important data is for everybody who has to make decisions, however big, however small they are. Other important aspect of data is that it's apolitical. There is no politics involved in it. 
the moment we are able to place the data on the table people all around the world will come together collaborate and make things happen so that's the power that we have how do you get people onto the same page we have seen how communities got built it's mind share data can be a very powerful mechanism to bring the mind share so here are the three things i want to share with all of you first i want to talk a little bit about technology the information revolution as i call what got us here today second i want to talk about people how do we educate people on data awareness on data orientation how it's going what kind of experience i had in this area and the last one the idea called context aware dashboards where we can present information in very simple form in the paradigms that we are all very familiar with let me just go one by one the first thing i will also use a context of a normal thing like a hospital which all of us have seen picture this way that there is a large chain of hospitals across several locations they have evolved over a period of time and they are extremely reputed for the quality of the service they are able to deliver now because that's a, such a huge thing for my example i will take a very small portion of the hospital which is like a diagnostic lab which will be there in every hospital and what can be done using information technology as we move from the three generations in which uh, we were able to see technological advancements the first age which i call them from the reporting age that's where i started my first experience here if i were to go to a hospital in that time frame i would recommend to the hospital management that you need to automate the way that computer can generate a bill for a lab fee that is paid by the patient or you may want to give a computerized report so that that's error free or you may want to take the inventory of the equipment that you have in your labs so those are the kinds of things that we were doing at that point of time the only thing the hospital got was digital data which captured all the information into the computer systems and possibly the only thing that the patient got was a bill which was possibly longer than the report that was only the thing that was there happening at that age then technology helped and we became better the second wave is all about analysis of the data that we collected from various sources so here we were able to paint a bigger picture a better picture for all the stakeholders if i were to consult to a hospital in that time frame i would really say look at the trend of the demand for the diagnostic services what is the productivity of the technicians that are working in the lab what does it how can i reduce the cost of diagnostic tests those are the kinds of intelligence that we were able to do at this point of time and the stakeholders would get some alerts and as a uh, you know end consumer the patient would possibly be able to compare the two test lab reports online saying that something has changed in the lab compared to what i had gone previously and here is possibly i need to see a doctor fairly quickly so such decisions could be made by providing data online and comparison of the data elements which were previously stored but today it's altogether a different story if i were to go to a hospital which is very modern today and be there as a information technology consultant or a data consultant i would tell them very different stories i would be able to say you have performed some 39000 diagnostic tests in the last 2 months and approximately 1900 of them are likely to come back for a advanced diagnostics so be prepared i am i will be able to predict as well as prescribe the kind of actions the hospitals will be able to take i can even go back and say that you need to hire x number of lab technicians because the load on a particular kind of diagnostics is increasing so you will be able to see that kind of change where the uh, computer systems can come back and respond in terms of how it, it can help people then if we move further 
to the services industry, then you can give feedback online, and that can be analyzed, and uh, in including voice feedback, which can be analyzed, and sentiments of the people can be provided to the you know the corresponding service managers so that they can really act on it on the spot in the real time. So that's about the way that you know we have moved, and I would like to share a little bit experiences about the way that we have worked in the education part of it. I am very fond of uh, bringing the data awareness to everybody. We have tried it with uh, in the en for engineers. When I was working for Infosys, we created a program called Campus Connect, in which initially we were providing a lot of learning resources to the students who were able to uh, understand the subjects and its applications of the concept in little better ways. Then we also trained a lot of faculty members, nearly 6,000 of them across the country, to teach engineering students in better ways. Then we ourselves conducted several, several virtual se sessions across the country uh, for many, many uh, colleges simultaneously. And we influenced the system to create a curriculum to teach uh, a business intelligence. We wrote a textbook on it. And then we didn't stop there. We integrated this curriculum and into the classroom so that every week we were able to share with the students real industry examples of how to apply the concepts and interpret the data and so that they become data ready. Today, this program supports uh, 35 to 40,000 engineers to understand the technology applications little better than what was happening. So with that background, I would like to uh, share what is the concept that I'm really looking at, which is the third part. Dashboards, it's nothing but a simple visual display. It shows at a glance the health of the business. It is meant for achieving some specific business goal. Given this, I want to acknowledge that the industry has understood designing very good informative dashboards which promote action in very nice ways in the last six to eight years. But we can take it further. That's the work which I would like to describe as context-aware dashboards. While this goes on, I will say a few things about this. Most important part of the information is that we are all overloaded with information. If the dashboard can help us to show just the piece of information which we need for our own role and we can act on it, that's the best thing. So which means it is role-based information. Nothing extra comes to you. It's a highly consolidated and highly specific. So it shows the health at a glance. It's also true that everybody will not have just one responsibility. We will have multiple responsibilities. So given that situation, we must be able to see a zoomed out view where all our responsibilities are also shown, but wherever I have authority, which is shown as A, I can make the decision that will be brought to the front. And if many business events have happened, that can be correlated and say, this is happening because you changed something two years back, or you did a marketing campaign because of that, this event is occurring. So that way, we can make the business context much more uh, to come through the front, which will help people make decisions. I'm now here using many of the paradigms that we see in our cell phone. For example, the signal strength indicates that I can make a call. Here, the confidence that it's a trustworthy information helps us to make a decision much faster. I can interact with people. I can look at whether I can share the information with others or not, or I can annotate by writing notes on the information I see, or I can look at the history where other people had taken what action they had taken under similar circumstances, or I can record my own decision by clicking like a camera, or I can just like a Facebook, you can go and like or dislike the information which is given to you, or even I can do voice annotation. This way, I can make the interaction uh, f with the system much more meaningful and highly contextual. If we do this, I have just shown two examples of a business and a usability context, but we have built several contexts of this, and that's what I call it as context-aware dashboards, and that catalyzes um, you know, smart uh, decisions. So here is a simple equation. If you are able to educate people and bring data awareness 
and provide information in a highly contextual matter, manner, it results in smart decisions. So from the message perspective, I would think we all want to create our better future world, for that's our dream, and we need to dare to differentiate with data, and what we want to do is to enhance data awareness and promote information design so that right information is got to the people at the right time. Possibilities, my friends, here are absolutely limitless, and I would love to see all of us together in the future world. Thank you very much.